International group, I'm Ebony. Hey, it's Martin here. All right, and and it's another roundtable. Um, so we do this once every month, the first Thursday of the month. So definitely come back and check check us out. It's the same link, same time. Um, and so we'll be back here on October the seventh uh, at six o'clock till six thirty. So so definitely come through. And uh, also too, if you like us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, you can see all this uh, archived um, once we get it up and posted after a while. So, um, so definitely check us out. And uh, Mar, do you have anything else to add? I don't know if I forgot anything. No, I think I think you hit it on the head. Um, you know, as we do this every month, um, you know, we just look to bring uh, information and resources. Uh, to the public. Uh, so, you know, we can uh, be a resource uh, and, you know, individuals that you can come to, to have your questions addressed um, and support in any way. So uh, that's what we're here to do. And uh, we're looking to hit this one off tonight. Yeah. And we would be remiss not to say that it's, it's September. So this is our client appreciation month where we, you know, just take a moment and, and say thank you to our clients, any, any chance we get. So, you know, this is always, you know, an opportunity on the round table to, to definitely thank the people, you know, who are joining us tonight, you know, live and the, and the folks who are going to tune in later, we appreciate you. Um, so, so definitely, um, yeah, that's, a, that's a big thanks because, you know, without you guys and your support, there wouldn't be any Bates International Group. So, you know, we got a lot of big things coming in you know, the next year, but, you know, September has always been, you know, a great month for us to, to say thanks. So, um, so definitely. And so tonight we're going to jump right in. Um, you know, we're, we're mainly talking to, uh, you know, agents and people who are thinking about getting into real estate or people who have maybe just gotten into real estate. So, so if you have any level of interest in real estate tonight, we're talking about what you want to hear about. So we're, we're talking about a subject that's relevant. Um, so, you know, the name of the, of the, the flyer that we put out was being a better agent, but I think it, I think it does go beyond being a better agent. I think we're, what we're going to talk about is, are the fundamentals, you know, cause Marty and I, you know, we were talking before, um, you know, we jumped in here and, and we, we kind of realized, you know, um, that we're kind of talking about the fundamentals of, of life and, 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 and being just better and more sound financially, um, as well as in your personal life, as well as in your, in your business undertaking. So we're going to be talking in general. Um, of course, this is all real estate all the time. It's the real estate roundtable. We're going to be talking about real estate, but you can definitely take some of the little nuggets that we're going to leave and, and apply it to other avenues of your life and, you know, other businesses, if you, if you have any other businesses. So, you know, one of the things that I would say, you know, and I'm going to, I'm just going to hop right in. Yeah. They should. Say if, if you're a new agent, okay. If you're a new agent, I would say one of the biggest things is, is you don't want to be a secret agent. Um, you don't want um, to be out there, but nobody knows you're out there because you're, you're a little bit nervous um, or you don't want to bother anybody that you're, you're, you're done, you're flatlined. So if you're, if you're a veteran that is doing that, first of all, I don't know how, um, you know, if you're if you're a new agent, don't do it. If you're um, a you know uh, someone who's thinking about getting in the business, you know that's something that you're going to want to stay away from. And you can start letting people know. You know, real estate is the type of thing that you know because it's so based on what where your next deal comes from. You know, we make the joke that we wake up every day unemployed. You know, and we go out and we make our work. You know. Um, by simply helping others and, 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 and assisting the public and also to buying, asking people to buy and sell houses. You know, we, we, uh, we have to ask. Um, so if you're out there and you're afraid to do that, you're going to have 
a problem being a real estate agent. So just know that. And, and, and the way you can apply that to life is, you know, check on your personality, you know, what kind of person are you? And um, you should really be careful about going after careers that don't fit your personality. You know, you don't want a career that fits your alter ego. You want a career that fits who you are every day as, as you're perceived out in the world. I mean, what would you say? I mean, do you have anything to throw in there, Marty? Yeah, no, I mean, especially, you know, in your, you know, first, um, two to three years, uh, in the business, um, you know, you really want to hit the ground hard, um, you know, communicating what you're doing, uh, and establishing who you are in the market and, and your brand. Um, you know, to your point, I don't think you can just kind of s sit back, uh, you know, unless you have, you know, a 10 year run where your brand is kind of solidified uh, and, and business just kind of pours into you with limited uh, marketing or uh, outreach. Um, so, you know, it's going to be important in those first few years to, to really establish yourself uh, and establish a brand and, and, and a reputation a business reputation. Right. I mean, if you're able to sit back and, and just let it roll in, you've gone through the trenches. OK, you've done the, you've done that. You were not you weren't a secret agent. You were you went through the ranks and, and yeah. earned your stripes. And now you, you're on the other end of it. And there are those folks. Absolutely. But, you know, um, but to do that is kind of rare because remember the fail rate for realtors and you know i'm just saying it because it's the truth and mm -hmm. i think it's it, what is it how does it go is it the first year it's 88 percent fail and then the second by the second year um by the second year i think it's like in the 90 some percentile that 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 fail in real yeah. estate so we're not being <laughs> yeah. negative we're just being up front with you yeah yeah, yeah. right no, I mean, it's true. I mean, and that's that's one of the things that we were talking about with, um, you know, having a marketing plan, uh, you know, as you go in, into this and, and even as you're in the business, uh, just establishing a marketing plan, what tools you'll use and then the frequency in which you'll use them. Um, uh, you know, of course, starting off, uh, if you have a limited uh, baseline funding, um, you want to use free tools. So, you know, you want to have a strong social media presence where you can, um, uh, as well as a website. Uh, but again, I think it's about the repetition and the consistency of the content uh, that you're putting out to the, to the, to your public. Um, and that content doesn't necessarily have to be all real estate all the time. Um, yes, you know, foundationally, It'll be real estate information or um, images of you in the field and, and some of the things that you're doing. But you also want to show lifestyle and, and show your personality as well, uh, because at the end of the day, I mean, that's what folks are, are, are going to uh, buy your services for, um, you know, that, that personable part of you. Uh, so, uh, again, I think uh, having a, a strong and consistent marketing plan that you can rely on uh, is key. A hundred percent. And I think, you know, for me, you know, I'm going to keep harping on the same thing. And that is understanding and knowing what your strengths are and what they are not. And, you know, and and coming to terms with that and realizing that, OK, these things are not my strength. I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to go ahead and contract this out and 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 have somebody else do this or I'm not going to do it at all. And this is how I'm going to make up for it. You know, so having that strong plan where, you know, it, it fits your personality. And so therefore it doesn't feel like work to do it because what we don't want, we did not get into this industry, you know, where we wake up every day unemployed, where we have to go out and make our work. We work probably harder than, you know, most other industries put together. You know, I mean, we, it's, it's, it's constant. And, and so we, are making that sacrifice because we want that freedom and we want to pay attention to who we are as people. And I think 
that that goes across the board, that if you're a realtor, there is something about you that is, um, you know, you're a strong individual. There is a part of you that wants to be out there and independent and doing it your way. And so pay attention to yourself and, and be a friend to yourself and, and don't beat yourself up for things that you're not good at. Just go ahead and move on and, and focus on where you really shine and, and really pour yourself into those things and go ahead and contract out and find other ways to, to get the other stuff done. And it, it might mean that you have to pay money before you're making money. And that's, and that's a, the scary part about real estate is investing in yourself as the resource because, you know, um, but just trust me on this, that if you invest in yourself as much as you invest in other people's businesses by going off to work for them, if you worked half as hard as you did for somebody else as you did, as you do for yourself, or ha help me say it, Marty, if you yeah, worked no, half as it. hard for yourself as you did for somebody else, you'd be yeah. a millionaire. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just scary to wake up and not have anywhere to be and to have that self-discipline. And so, um, you know, but I think that, I think that having that plan and a plan that, that speaks to who you are as a person that, that excites you, that makes you want to get out of bed and say, okay, I want to hit it hard because, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, making a cold call, I don't know, whatever you are as a person or making that social media post or that TikTok or whatever it is, whatever that is, corner that market and, 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 and don't let up because um, they say people need to hear, hear something six times before mm -hmm. it'll start to register. Three, they'll notice that you said something. And then, you know, around the sixth time, they'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> right. That's when it's ingrained. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Hey there. Shante. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Great. So it's just us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time, there, were, there was a lot of people on last time I logged on and had a look. That's okay because you know what, Shante? And this is why we always, you know, as a rule, um, and 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 I coach on this a lot that this time of year there's always that kind of lag. Everybody's kind of sleepy and kind of, and you, you probably even feel it in yourself too, where you're like, oh, I just need a break. Well, this is the time that as a realtor, we hit it hard. So yeah, us, yeah. Especially if you don't, yeah, especially if you don't have that trough of business like certain established agents do. Like for me, business trickles here and there. I don't have steady business. I've been trying to get it, so. Yeah, I get it. Trust me. <laughs> oh, just how doing differently, trying to do things differently now. I just realized, well, I didn't just realize, but, you know, especially in this last 18 months, looking at how many people, I mean, we've been in a pandemic and there's still people wanting to get their real estate license and get into the business and jump in. And I'm like, okay, we're super duper oversaturated. So it really has to come down to really establishing yourself as somebody who's not just selling homes, but you're really in the practice of real estate. There's a difference. So you have to really kind of, you know, hit the ground really with the intent to establish yourself in that way. Because I'm looking at all my like different Facebook groups and, and some are having a hard time. Some people are having, these new agents are having a hard time. So the honest ones. <laughs> that too. That, yeah. Like I said, it's, it, you know, I, I can remember because I've been licensed, this is what, 2021? 20, so I've been licensed for 12 years now. And so I can remember me being very starry-eyed and seeing other starry-eyed agents come in. And then some, it's like grand opening, grand closing. They mm -hmm. come in and leave within the same year. You know, they might've made back the money they spent, maybe had one or two closings and then they were done. They just couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And so I, I really, like I said, I, I, I think it just came with just, you know how me and you were talking earlier today, Ebony, about how we're not there anymore. And it's like, Ugh. <laughs> I have that one you know, in your corner, but you know that, that you kind of have some of that confidence, and you know that that type of person is at the helm, and then you kind of feel lost when they're no longer there in the same capacity, mm -hmm. and then you're like, okay, well, you know. 
it, it was going to happen soon, eventually. So where's, where, you know, what am I doing to make sure that, you know, not only do I stay motivated, but I'm staying on top. I'm kind of making sure I have what I need in every other way, you know, kind of just self-evaluate. No, that, that's a good point. Um, I know one of the things, and Ebony, you can, you can speak to this, you know, better than me, but um, having a coach, uh, you know, I kind of, personally, I kind of slow walk to, you know, coaching and mentoring, but it's, it's key, you know, it's, 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 it's good to have somebody to bounce thoughts and ideas off of. Um, and to your point, Chantel, that also know that somebody is in your corner and, and is also championing you, um, and your success. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, for us, we, we have calls, um, with our coach and it's picked up, you know, here over the last uh, couple of months. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's beneficial, um, yeah. you know, truly, you know, the, we toss around ideas and think about things, but then there's always somebody else that has another perspective uh, or another thought that, you know, because you're in the muck, you know, you just didn't think about that, um, you know, and again, just uh, that motivation uh, factor. Um, it, yeah, it's important. Absolutely. Like, I've, and, and it's like I was saying, going back to seeing how a lot of these new agents are just they're getting so sorry at it and they get the slap bucket thrown on them. I don't want to necessarily say that's motivating for me, but again, it, it kind of reminds me of where I used to be mentally and then reminds me to snap out of it because like I said, I, I've been licensed all this time. So I really, <laughs> really shouldn't, you know, make sure I don't flip back into that, that type of mode that they're in. But um, like I said, it, it just, there's a lot of things just that I'm seeing that's just making me kind of, like, okay, like I was saying, the practice of real estate, as opposed to just going out there and trying to sell some houses and make some money. I'm seeing, I've seen agents slapping these ridiculous prices on homes. I've seen people lose deals over as little as $500. I've seen, um, I've seen a lot of, of just weird shit. Pardon my French. I'm sorry about that. Weird thing. And ever since about March, April, well, really, May or June of last year, like I said, the pandemic has just either brought out the worst in people, shown the human side of people. It's just made a lot of things, including our line of work, very topsy-turvy. And that we're still here <laughs> compared to those that decided to leave or those that decided against getting their license, I think is a testament that it's just one of those rocky things. Like I came in after that initial housing bubble, you know, when everybody was the sub the subprime thing went down so I wasn't practicing during that so I came in during a down market so this is the first weird thing I think since I've been licensed that I've kind of lived through and experienced and practiced through I, I don't think any of us have a playbook for what's happening right now and and I think that's 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 even more of a reason why you know, for folks in the industry to stay close to other folks, because if you don't have a coach, if you can't afford a coach, or if you don't believe in a coach, or if you just don't even have the time for that, um, you know, just being able to bounce things around, just like Shantae and I, we had a conversation, you know, this morning, and we were bouncing thoughts and stuff around. Um, so for me, that's, that's been one of my keys to success is surrounding myself with really sharp people that can help mold me. And eventually, you know, I become sharp too. And, you know, if you look at our logo, that's exactly why there's that diamond that's in the center is because um, it is so incredibly important. There's nothing that can shape another diamond except for another diamond. So it's so incredibly important to surround yourself by around other people who are, are like-minded um, who uh, make you think, um, who bring ideas to the forefront that help make your business better and the, the industry better as a whole. All of these things are important and you can apply this to your everyday life. You know, if you're the smartest person in the room, I'll get up and go because, you know, 
that's not where you need to be. You need to be somewhere where people are enlightening you, where you can share your ideas and get better. Um, that's the whole point of it. So um, joining a group and maybe, maybe we create a group. You know, I've had a heck of a time trying to, uh, we're with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, PenFed. We're with, um, you know, a huge company, Warren Buffett, um, you know, is, is, is our main dude, you know, so, and everybody knows him. So it's a huge company, but yet there's still a, an issue with the individual offices as far as um, us being able to link with one another, you know, I mean, the, you can refer to the website where there's just like, kind of like a headshot that, you know, or not maybe, you know, but I mean, it's just, it, it there's no, I, I just wish there was a, a, a quicker way for us to liaise with one another. And I think that we just as agents need to create those things and stop waiting for it to be created and do things like this round table, you know, because this round table, you know, for the people, you know, it's going to be living on well beyond our years because it's going to be on the internet. Uh, on our on our page so yeah. you know for agents who are thinking about coming into the business they can click on this and and you know or people who just need a, an old kick in the pants can click on this and 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 get something from it from agents who are out there selling and buying every single day I mean because we're mm -hmm. agents that are that are on the ground right now in Washington DC Maryland Virginia we sell all of them as a whole all the time and it, we are very busy with it. Um, so we're, we're really at the forefront and, um, and, I, and I can't believe how fast this half hour always goes. So, you know, another uh, tip that I would say that is really big um, and this goes for, um, and I don't know if we, I think we should say that creating that LLC and organizing yourself, um, can we take a second and, and just talk about making sure that you've got yourself organized correctly um, and making sure that you've got somebody to help with your taxes. Uh, what says you, Marty? You're much better on that than I am. No, I mean, you're, you're on it. I mean, because essentially you're a business. So, you know, to, to put some validity to it, to put some structure to it, uh, I think it's- Treat yourself as a business before you become successful. Because when you become successful, it's too late. It's too yep. late. Trust me. I've heard, exactly. I've had to pay thirty thousand dollars in taxes before because of it's. You don't want that issue, and because the money's not there. By the way, whenever <laughs> that tax bill comes due, right. a lot of the times if you're not prepared, that was way back in the early days of not knowing. So yeah. Yeah, I that's should, a fact. I, I mean, too much. No, nah, yeah. you, come yeah. on, man, you're on it because because that way, if you if you go ahead and set it up and set it up early, then you know you can get your accounting in order, um, uh, and and ensure that you get the write offs and and you know you have your ledgers tight, um, you know to to know what your expenses are, to know where your money's going and and how it's coming in, um, and so it makes sense at. Uh, when tax time comes around um, and makes it easier for yourself and for whomever is supporting you uh, doing your taxes as well. Um, so, yeah, I think starting at LLC, uh, starting it up early, uh, the earlier the better, because uh, you're going to save yourself a lot of headache. Yeah. So um, for myself, because like I said, I don't do too much business, but I'm, I will always have the intent of wanting to do more so. I just got my um, EID and my DUNS number last week. And um, I think I'm trying to, oh, you know, go through it. all the, yeah, I'm trying to go through all the steps and trying to make sure I'm doing everything properly. I know I have to register with the city, which I've yet to do. And I, I know, like I said, I know it's a process. I don't even know exactly the order in which to do it. I don't it's, know if I've done it out of order or not, but I'm trying it's to- It's a learning first process. Yeah, it's so good, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so like I said, all of that is that tax ID and the DUNS number. Good for you. Good for and, you. And um, and and look funny. at talk to your tax consultant. Um, you know, and if you don't have anybody, um, you know, you can reach out to Marty and I. Um, you know, yeah, Muhammad too. Muhammad's not way. here. Yes, yeah, send them my way. Like I'm trying to get set up so I can have a more productive 2022 and, and make it worth my while since I've got all this stuff set up. 
you know, I didn't even think they were going to give me the job. So they're like, oh, yeah, you've had it for 72 hours. I'm like, oh, oh, my. <laughs> yeah, it's they, so, there's no playbook for this stuff. And, and that's the thing. And that's why we really have to lean on each other, because, you know, we're still going to make mistakes because not many people do this. Most people go and work for someone else. But to create your own business and to build it from the ground up, because we're the CEO, we're the CFO you know, we're the COO, we're yeah, all of those things, the, and we're the out there yeah. buying and selling real estate. So yeah. also look into, Shantae, making yourself an escort um, so that you can put yourself on payroll, okay? okay? So that you can get your checks, and then you can just cut yourself a small check, and you can just pay yourself, okay? So doing the LLC is part of it, but the next step is to make yourself an escort, okay? All right. Okay. And um, so then the one of the biggest things that I would say is, and I mean, this is simple, but stay in touch. Um, stay in touch and follow up with the folks that you come into contact with. And when I say come into contact with, um, whenever you're looking to come into the business, you know, you want to start collecting phone numbers and, and, and names, you're going to be a social butterfly. You know what I mean? That's what you kind of need to do. So, you know, whenever you go out and you get a phone number, follow up. If they say they're interested in purchasing a house, follow up. Even if it's just a text message, hey, I didn't want this to fall off of our radar. You know, this is my cell phone number. When is a good time for us to have a conversation? And here's the other trick, okay? Never, ever leave a client without setting up a next date that's right unless they want to buy the house right the other part <laughs> is know, even if they're not ready they'll refer people to you like i you know my i had um a client my repeat client referred three people to me so yeah and then we then referred them so I, and that's something i learned when i was working retail i used to work for uh atp wireless and my manager made it very clear, look, you know, when you activate one person, that's at least three to five good referrals right there. And, you know, it, it, it just kind of always resonated with me. And that was so many years ago. So, yeah. That's golden, too. It is. Even, even if the person themselves don't buy from you, if they're referring, psh, man, that's your, that's your best ambassador right there. Indeed. Yeah. Yes. And you want to create advocates, not just people that would refer you, but people that would say, oh, my God, if you don't use Marty, if you don't use Shantae, mm -hmm. you're kind of an idiot. And I don't know if I really want to talk to you. <laughs> I already told you good advice and you're not taking it. That's the advocate, the one that gets annoyed because they're so proud to, you know, um, to refer you because you've been so useful for them. And you've been so useful and kind and generous, you know, because we don't get paid until, I mean, we basically work and sometimes we get paid. That's basically a realtor's life. Right. And, and so we do it for other reasons most of the time than money. Um, and the people who really put it out there and put their heart out there, they're the ones who end up in, you know, make it big generally, you know, um, for whatever it's worth, the people that are out there making it big, generally, they've done some things unless it was inherited, which is a whole nother story. But, um, you know, but really, you got to put out the love in order to get it back if you want your business to be successful. Um, and I would say, don't forget to ask, um, whether that's for a referral, whether that's for, you know, even just to buy or sell the house and never leave without, not setting an appointment, um, get your taxes right. What else, Marty? Um, set up an LLC, and if you're an uh, agent making money, set up an S4. Yep. Any, anything else that we're leaving out for folks who may tune in? I think uh, the, other, the other thing was um, setting your marketing strategy up and, and you know, attacking that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I think that's the, that's the golden package right there. You know, all you right. stick, you know. <laughs> yeah and Shantae any last or final questions words of wisdom for, uh, from you or uh, anybody else that is on the line that wants to you know give a shout out 
Okay, here in Nova. Well, okay. I, I just wanted to say something. Can you hear me? Absolutely. Just wanted to say thank you to you and Marty. You guys gave some excellent points. Truly helpful to anyone that might be interested or is already in the business. So thank you for all of your hard work each and every month. The information is just so useful. Thank you. Oh, Love you guys. You. Oh, thank you. Well, that was, I don't know if we could end on a better note than that. Um, so thanks guys. And, you know, we love you too. And um, we'll check you out uh, next month. We'll be here on October the 7th. So please come back. Shantae, it was amazing having you. You were, I mean, you were almost like a special guest. You gave some really amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Always nice to share. Awesome. Well, hopefully we'll see you next month too. Yes. Yeah, so, take care, everyone. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.